about absolutely normal chaos. Uh, this is a fairly long book. It's 230 pages about a young girl, about 12, who has a, a, a bit of a bigger family. She's one of five. So there's an there's a nice little voyeuristic kind of look into the life of a young teenager. There are There is one major problem with this book, and that is this is a summer diary that the students are supposed to write, and it also contains some of the reading that they're supposed to do for the summer. So for example, on one side you'll see the writing is italicized, it's slanted, because this side is, she's writing about her summer reading, The Odyssey. And she starts using language and jokes, making jokes about The Odyssey. And for students, for ESL students who are unlikely to know what The Odyssey is, meaning even if you didn't read it, that's fine. You could still read this book and enjoy it. But if you have no idea what The Odyssey is or what The Odyssey is about, the language that is used, like, oh, muses, the, you know, or whatever, is just olden language that, and uh, references to a, another story that's very much part of the American Western culture. I wish someone would tell me exactly what a journal is. When I asked my mom, she said, well, it's like a diary, only different. That helps. She was going to explain more, but Mrs. Furtz, the lady who just moved in across the street, called to say that my brother, Dennis, was throwing eggs at her house, and my mother went berserk, so she didn't finish telling me. How am I supposed to write a journal if I don't even know what one is? I wouldn't be doing this anyway, except that Mrs. Zolar asked me to. She's an English teacher. She asked us to keep a journal this summer and bring it in in September to our new English teacher. So, new English teacher, I guess I'd better say who I am. My name is Mary Lou F Finey. I live in 4059 Buxton Road in Easton, Ohio. I have a normally strange family. Here are the cast of characters, so to speak. Sam Finney is the father. He's a pretty regular father. Sometimes he likes us and sometimes we drive him crazy. When we are driving him crazy, he usually goes out in the garden and pulls some weeds. When he's at work, he is a geologist and spends his days drawing maps. Sally Finney, whose age I'm not allowed to tell you or anyone else, is the mother. She is also a pretty regular mother. Sometimes she drools all over us and sometimes she asks my father if there isn't something that he can do about us. When we're driving her crazy, she usually cries a little. When she is at work, she is an oral historian and spends her days tape recording stories that elderly people tell her. I think that by the time she gets home to us, she's a little tired of hearing people talk. Maggie Finney, 17 years old, is the oldest daughter. She's my sister. She's a basic boy crazy, fingernail painting, mopey old sister with whom I have the misfortune of sharing a room. She does not like me to touch her things. Mary Lou Finney, 13 years old, is the next oldest. That's me. I don't know what I am. I'm waiting to find out. And she tells a, a pretty good story. On the other hand, she entwines the story with her summer reading of the Odyssey, which is a little hard to follow. Okay, so I do recommend this for middle to advanced readers. If you're an adult, this would be a pretty quick read because, as you heard, the language is not too difficult. Um, the story is interesting and straightforward. Mm -hmm.